MG X Power WR Supercar. It can do 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. It has a top speed of 200 miles an hour and it costs a whopping 90,000 pounds. It's manufactured right here in the Midlands, but not by the Chinese firm who won the takeover race for the MG brand at Longbridge nearly three years ago. This sports car is made by a British motoring enthusiast from Tembury Wells in Worcestershire, William Riley. Basically, I wanted to try and save something of the British sports car company. MG Sports and Racing was a separate standalone company with its own badge rights, and I bought it from the Liquidators Price Waterhouse in June of last year. Despite all the hype last year, Nanjing Automobile Corporation haven't yet supplied dealers with their new MGs. The launch date just keeps on being deferred. While Nanjing's plans are still on the starting grid, William Riley's factory here in Worcestershire is up and running. They're producing six high-powered supercars every month. They've already sold seven, and they've got another 35 orders in the pipeline. It's handmade. The bodywork is all Kevlar. And basically, they're one of the few genuinely bespoke motor cars you can buy. The perception of MG is a cheap, cheerful sports car, whereas this was an entry into the supercar market. This is not a practical car. It is not designed for a family. The boot, well, it's a bit of a joke. But let's face it, no one needs a two-seater. They just want one. The MG X Power WR is one of the fastest cars on the road. It's also one of the most exclusive, and this is only the fourth one ever made. William Riley's family has been making sports cars since 1896. The name has a string of vintage models to its name, the Riley MPH, the Riley Elf, and the Riley Kestrel. Tell me, who first started making the sports cars in your family? Well, originally it was a William Riley, who was basically my great-grandfather. And then his son William went on and produced a lot of sports cars before the war. They were very successful at Le Mans before the war, 1930s. Always won their prize for that category. William Riley has invested £2 million into this venture so far. He's given jobs to 17 workers, including a handful of ex-MG Rover employees, like Steve Devereaux, who used to be an electronic rectifier at Longbridge. It's, it's nice to have the opportunity to get back to it and see if we can make this car what it once was. Perhaps even better. It's early days for MG Sports and Racing Europe Limited, but William Riley is hoping to buy a piece of land and build a 100,000 square foot factory somewhere along the M5 corridor in the next two years, providing jobs for up to 200 workers. Jenny Wivell in Erdison near Tembury Wells for Central Tonight.